Tony, Yarra Valley Water created both a sustainability circle and some environmental champions within the organisation. How did you empower these groups and how effective were they at supporting the changes you set out to achieve? Well, when we first set out to, um, on our sustainability journey, there was a lot we didn't know and there was a, it was important for us to build the ownership um, amongst the staff. Mm -hmm. And um, so in, we, we, we didn't create these groups, they mm -hmm. volunteered and mm -hmm. uh, I was delighted that they, they volunteered. Mm -hmm. And they did play a very useful role in the early stages um, in sort of um, helping people understand the nature of the strategy that mm -hmm. we were creating, um, spreading the word, uh, mm -hmm. creating the opportunity for people to discuss what the strategy meant mm -hmm. and in that way build ownership um, mm -hmm. and commitment mm -hmm. to what we were trying to achieve. And because it, it, you know, it came from uh, the middle of the organisation or even the front line of the organisation, mm -hmm. Um, you know, it, it was probably they were probably better at interpreting the message and, and taking mm. it to the front line. Mm. Um, so they fulfilled a very useful purpose in the early days. Those groups don't exist anymore, mm -hmm. mainly because you know we've we've moved on and we've evolved to a stage where the the strategy is so well understood um, and uh, and and also it's very clear who's who's accountable for mm -hmm. which elements. Mm -hmm that there is no need to have an intermediary anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but as I say, they did serve a, serve a very useful purpose in the early stages. Okay. okay. Good. Yeah.